Yo, so if you're like me and totally addicted to Genshin Impact right now, you may have encountered certain things in the game that is mildly infuriating. Like how when you're trying to go into the tavern, you always end up clicking on the missing person poster first. And when you try to get out at night, you'll run into six-fingered Jose, who is obviously lying since it's obvious as hell he doesn't have six fingers, he only has five. Anyways, who in their right mind would go by six-fingered Jose? It's such a weird thing to be nicknamed as. Elemental-based interactions are a huge pain in the ass, like thank god I have a diversified team, but god bless those people who have to change characters just to get some dandelion seeds. Did I say I have a diversified team? Well guess what? It's not diversified Bruh. enough since I have to switch to Claymore users when I run by ores that I need or end up having to spend 5 times as long doing it with the squad I have now. While we're on this topic, fuck these guys and their shields. Especially when I don't have a Claymore users in my main roster. Why can't I pet dogs yet? Mahoyu, come on! When you try to teleport out to the map, your own markers end up fucking you up. This wouldn't be a problem if we didn't have to mark out the entire map for resources or we will be absolutely dicked when the time comes and you realize you need 5 billion violet grass. Also on this topic, give us more markers. All character swaps has CD. How ambiguous the instructions for certain materials are. Xiangling's jingling bell. How when I have max resin, it makes me feel like I'm a filthy casual. I swear I'm not a casual. Please subscribe. When you're looking for something on the map, and when you get there, you can't find it. Turns out it was under or above you. Well, I don't have an example of this because I'm an absolute gamer and clear all those obstacles already. How when you have to teleport back to town to access expedition and processing rewards, how we don't get to use characters who are on expeditions. How I can't play on speakers when in Japanese dub without people thinking that I'm watching hentai. How oh, Kaching's hair just happens to look like cat ears, but she can't have something that happens to look like a cat's tail. How different weapon ascension materials are on different days of the week, and how Sunday drops look like they drop all the materials, but it's just randomly selected. Bruh. And last but not least, how much I love this game despite its flaws. Yes,